hello guys and welcome to my channel if you're new here because i know we have so many new viewers and subscribers feel most welcome and appreciated and uh, make sure you join the family by subscribing like the videos if you find them interesting and of course i know you find them interesting okay and uh not forgetting my returning subscribers i'm really happy to have you back thanks a lot for the support thanks for those who are watching my videos and you are not subscribed i know most of my viewers by the way are people who are not subscribed and i just wish that one day you'll find it worth to subscribe to my channel and i'll appreciate a lot okay yeah so in today's video i want to give you an update on something i started on sunday last week and uh, of course when you start something you have to finish it last sunday i updated you on uh, one of our kenyan youtuber whose wife got kidnapped and um it was not easy she was kidnapped when she got kidnapped when she was heavily pregnant nine months pregnant and she was kidnapped together with her baby four to five months uh four to five years old so the kidnappers i believe they took her to a forest no sweater in a very cold weather they mistreated her so much and they could even send the videos to the husband so that he can see what she's going through next they threatened to kill her if the hubby does not send two million kenyan shillings and if the hubby does not send them password to his channel UK TV channel had 145,000 subscribers and he surrendered the channel so that at least he can get his family back so the day he was going to give them the money he went with uh, our police officers it was at night and they managed to arrest the kidnappers and rescue the wife together with the baby the good news I have today is that after the wife was rescued, of course, she was rushed to the hospital so that at least she can be checked how she is doing, how the baby is doing, and also how the girl is doing so that at least the doctor gets to understand them more. Something that happened immediately after she was rescued, she got shocked and she lost her ability to talk. She lost her speech. That is, she was unable to talk anymore and she stayed in and she has been to hospital. I thank God because when the husband was updating us in the start of the week, she was not able to talk. But he requested for prayers, which we've been praying. And I'm here today to thank God because at least Bella can now talk. Sorry. Even if she'll say a few words, at least she can communicate and say one or two things. And uh, one thing that really melted my heart, oh my goodness. <laughs> As I keep saying, women are the strongest creatures we have in this world. And when I say that, I mean it. When Bella woke up, the first thing she asked for is, where's my baby? Where's Lynette? If you don't know who Lynette is, Lynette is her first baby who they were kidnapped together, are almost they said captured. But that's more or capturing. I don't know. So the first word she uh, the first question she asked was, Where is Lynette? You can Im it's Yani that question really melted my heart. You can imagine you've been quiet and when you wake up, when your memory starts loading loudly again. The first statement you are asking is, where is my family? She did not ask for where the phone, her phone is, where everything is, but she asked, where is Lynette? I thank God because the hubby is available, uh, is there for her. At least she, he told her she's around, she's okay, I'm with her, I took her, she's doing well, and at least she calmed down. Are you getting me? That's the message I feel she wanted to hear. And when you look at her, she was so clingy to the hubby. She just wanted to hold his hand like this. Like, I don't know if you've ever been shocked by something or terrified in a way. You feel like you want people around you. You just want someone to hug you, someone to stay there for you. But And I thank God for uh, Director Jay. Jay, if you don't know, you are doing an amazing job. You are doing it the right way. And may God give you energy to overcome this, to stand for your family and to come out stronger 
I know you are going to make it. You are going to do it. Your family is going to... Yani, utaendelea mbele kabisa. I also know you are not feeling well. I pray that God is going to give you healing that you deserve. Healing is your portion in Jesus' name. And I know everything is going to be okay. Just be there for Bella. It's the best thing you can do for us, we true K family. I know you are there for her. When you see her being clingy to you, just hold her. Give her the hug. Be there for her. Yani mshike tu hata kama ni mkono alale akijua. Oh, nililala nikiwa na mzee wangu. Akiamka anampata hapo. It's the best thing na itamrahisishia hata healing yake na kulodi yake. Ataamka tu akiwa sawa mtapiga ma story. At least they have received their bundle of joy because according to the habit she is due any time. That is from last week. And I believe they've already received their bundle of joy. But let's keep calm. Hakuna kudakia maneno. Tusubirie director J atu update kama washa pokea mtoto ama bado waja pokea. Tuzidi kuwaombea. Mungu azidi kuwapa afya njema. And director J you are doing an amazing job. I imagine you, you were not feeling well even before your family was kidnapped. Hizo siku ata uliku unakaa mugonjwa sana. But the, the moment you lost your family, yani ulijika kamua ile kimwanaume to make sure how lali hadi upate familia yako. May the God who made it possible for you to get back your family give you the good health that you deserve because healing is your portion. And I want to thank God for each and every woman out there for the amazing job you are doing. You may not know it, but you are doing an amazing job. So as I end this video, Remember in today's video, I was just updating you that at least Bella can talk, Bella can speak, and I thank God for that. If I sat here and did a video praying for Bella, and right now she can speak, who am I not to sit here again and tell God thank you? It will be so disrespectful for me not to do that, and I thank God for what he has done, what he is doing, and what he is going to do, okay? Thanks a lot to everyone who has been supporting my content since I started two years back. Aki time really flies fast. Today, or uh, not today, in the course of the week, I was actually looking at my channel and I realized I'm two years old. But the two years is worth it. I thank God because at least I can see the fruits of my hard work. I thank God for the community we've made. I, I thank God for the friends I have been able to create online for my online family. I have made so many friends. I actually, I have made so many friends from my channel. And um, I feel good. I feel good because many of you actually follow me on my Instagram page. And if you don't follow me, you're missing a lot. I, I will write somewhere here or here my Instagram page so that at least you can go follow me there i interact with you a lot a lot there and also on my channel i interact with you so much so feel free to subscribe to my channel make sure you turn on the post notifications so that anytime i upload a video like the one have just told you that i upload i will upload before the end of the month stay tuned so that you don't miss out on this one it's hey it's a hot tea it's a hot tea so just stay tuned and i'm very sure you will love it I'm really sorry for the background noise. Have noticed the video is uh, some of the parts are so noisy, and I'm really sorry for that. As you know, in my country Kenya, we have uh, anti-government protests. That is, the opposition is protesting against the government, and uh, because of the security of the children, the government ordered some schools to be closed especially the schools that are within the cities so that at least the kids can be secure and also that the government can get enough time to handle the demonstrators and also keep calm so sorry for that it's my hope you will understand and i pray that at least we will have peace in my country so that some of these things we don't uh, experience them especially for content creators when it's this noisy you even don't know where to start music is playing so uh, so loud you can't do your videos because of copyright claims or strikes people are making noise left right and center we have uh 
it's a lot it's a lot may god just see my country through and um i just pray that peace is going to prevail again thanks a lot for watching the video till the end may god bless you all let's meet on my next video bye